is up y'all today we have a quick project for you we're gonna knock this whole thing out and ride it in one video so what do we got here Jason yeah so this is the go power sports little rascal mini bike kit it's actually really awesome it's made by them uh, custom frame and everything and has a lot of customization so when you order it you can choose between six different seats there's a bunch of different grip colors you can choose your tires a bunch of little things like that so you can basically have your own custom mini bike for pretty cheap. Um, I'm hearing that these frames are going to be really affordable so be sure to check out the links in our description for all of that stuff. But everything aside, Go Power Sports in these kits sends literally every single bolt and thing you're going to need to get this thing done. So this is going to be a pretty easy build. Let's just get started. It's coming bare metal but immediately when we got it we sent it off to the powder coater and got it in this kind of like cream color. Uh, it's very interesting. Even the powder coater when we got it was like, oh wow, that's an interesting color. But we decided to kind of mix it up a little bit because you do go with powder coat and there's so many different shade options. We figured we'd get something a little bit weird. It's kind of the same color we painted Internet Explorer. But now, if you haven't noticed, we've got our little engine plate here and the chain cover powder coated. So let's go meet our Tillotson 225 and get this stuff on there. This is something entirely new for us. This is the Tillotson 225 performance engine from Go Power Sports. Uh, we decided to put an RLV muffler and a header on it. But yeah, this is basically exactly how it comes and it should have around 18 horsepower. So that is plenty of power for the little rascal. All right, so this is our beautiful billet flywheel that comes with these things. Very sweet. engine cover on that looks sweet we kept the 225 because I feel like we got to show off out to 225 now we've got our max torque clutch from go power foots on there they actually have these billet clutch washers now which are pretty sweet but our last little powder coated element for the motor here is gonna go on she's just gonna slide onto our bolts here okay so with that the engine is done this thing looks really amazing so now Let's get the frame up here, so we're getting this guy ready to go. Before we do anything, we need to get the frame all assembled. So we got these really cool bushings right here. It's a little bit of a tight fit because we got the powder coat, but. Damn. Sweet. This feels really solid, especially with like really tight, well-fitting bushing. Cool. Ooh. Look at that. All right, let's get those wheels and tires ready. Tires are on, so now all we have to do is put the kickstand. This thing will stand on its own. So we got kickstand. Now we gotta do is go to the things like the engine and all the other accessories. So we got the matching tan. It's a lot of tan, but it is uh, a lot of tan. We do have you know, <laughs> a blue seat and everything else, so it should even out. Damn, this thing's so rad. Yeah, this is cool. Wow, this is like the smallest frame I've ever think we put in. Well, this isn't even a 212, it's a 225. True. Dang. So we kind of jumped the gun on the engine a little bit. We have some other stuff to do. We need to attach our gas tank and our seat. So we got this cool little gas tank. Yeah, the mounts are sweet. And yeah. you can also mount it right here in the back. So we got the seat on, it looks really good. So take two on the motor. So we got the 35 chain on and then we actually, since um, this, this frame, you can either put your gas tank up front or in the back, it has two more mounting holes here. So we just decided to be a little creative. Uh, we just found this on Amazon if y'all want one. But um, yeah, we got this little bag, kind of matches our look. Yeah, she's coming together. I think now we got to move on to grips and throttle and things. Yep. So we got the 
brake on um, and we did all the front handlebar stuff. This thing looks really good. It's definitely a more quirky than like kind of just like super clean. We have a lot of different colors going on, but we were going for kind of that look. This is more of just like a fun bike. Like, I don't know, really classic looking. We wanted it to have a lot of colors and stuff. Let us know what you guys think. But now we gotta do is just put on the pegs and kind of put some stickers on this thing. And then we'll be able to hear this engine run. Easy. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, this thing is so light. It's one of the few mini bikes we can just <laughs> one person. And with the 225, it's gonna be really fast. What happened, Jason? Oh, trying to kickstart the XR500. Yeah. yeah, a little bit of backfire. Any y'all, you know, big bore Honda owners know what's up with that. But let's go ride this thing. Jason's gonna be braving it with Great the boot boom. on. So, woo! <laughs> Hope y'all like the little montage. Yep. Let's see it. Let's see what all the hype's about, alright? <laughs> so yeah, I mean, obviously this is a really small mini bike with a built 225, so it does feel a little sketchy, but I mean, <laughs> overall, for the price, this is a really good kit. I mean, it's kind of everything you need. You can make a customizable, like, I mean, I love this thing. Yeah, man, it's sweet. All right, my turn. Yeah. This thing 
I, I thought the race bike was a rocket ship, but uh, this thing is very, very fast. Um, yeah, I know it's actually kind of terrifying. <laughs> um, it's awesome though, guys. This thing is super solid, um, especially I think if you're like, you know, if you, there's something special about building your own engine, but there's also something really nice about having every single bolt and nut like perfect on something. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's just easy money, ready to go out of the box, bolt it on, put oil in it. So I really like this thing, but I think we're going to wrap it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Go Power Sports. Um, this thing is so fun, and it's basically a Go Power Sports special in this episode. Everything's from them. So check out the links in the description. This thing actually just got released. That's why we're posting this video. And stay tuned because we got to do some more racing with this thing. Got to take it out to some of our friends' property and definitely uh, maybe even get a little head-to-head -head with the race bike or something. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.